Hi everyone. Today you're going to be making buttons. So I have provided some templates for you and I've also sent along a blank template. If you want to draw your own pictures, this is a great template to use. This size is the exact size that you need for the button maker. When you choose your template, you wanna go ahead and um, cut the circle out or at least cut a smaller square around the circle. And then you're gonna color it. Uh, you can use colored pencils, you can use markers, crayons. I find that the markers stand out brighter than the colored pencils. So this was one that I made a while ago, using the markers. So like I said, you're just going to Choose a template. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to color this one. And blue is my favorite color, so I'm going to go with blue. You can, um, you know, if you are not really interested in coloring, you don't have to be as precise with it. But I find that coloring these mandala shapes is pretty relaxing. So you get the idea. You want to color in that whole thing. Um, we're going to go ahead and pretend I colored this one in. So once you've got your circle cut out and you want to cut along the black lines on the templates. So around this, that should be the correct shape for the button maker. All right, so I am providing uh, you guys the button maker to use. There are two sides to the button maker and then a lever. So of the two sides, the shallow side versus the deep side. The shallow side is where you're going to put the shell part of the button. So this is the part where the paper goes on top. This is the front of the button. You want to make sure that when you are getting your shells out that they are separate. Um, because they do have a tendency to stick together very easily and that will jam the machine. So make sure you've only got the one and go ahead and put that one in the machine. Then you're going to take your button paper, put it on there. Now the um, top of the button, if it matters, is going to be facing the center pole here. Once you've got the paper on there, you're going to take one of the plastic films, which is kind of hard to see because it's clear, and you're going to put that on top. Now at this point, you can stamp this side. I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine so that's ready for stamping. And then you're going to put the um, back of the button in this side, again, with the top facing the center pole. And you wanna make sure that when you put it in, that the outside of the button is down into the, into the well. So the inside of the button is facing up. All right, so to stamp the front of the button, you're just gonna take the lever and push down. And then pull it back up spin it and you'll see it's disappeared. It's almost like magic. And then you're going to push the lever down again. And lift. And you should have a button. Now occasionally the plastic doesn't um, stamp right. If that happens, you just need to um, get rid of the pieces because more than likely they will have been bent and they, if you use them again, it will cause the machine to jam. And if the machine does jam, there's quite a few tutorials on YouTube 
on how to get it unjammed. Okay, so it's super easy. The longest amount of time is going to be spent coloring in or choosing a design. Uh, I've provided enough supplies that you can each make three buttons, but you do not have to make three buttons. Oh. But I wanted to make sure that you had enough if you decided you wanted to. Alright, hope you guys enjoy.